Hey everybody, it's Brad. Got a quick video for you here. I'm doing a um, answer to a question that I got from somebody on YouTube. Uh, Jerry has sent me a message. Uh, Jerry says, "Hi Brad, I own an Alissimo Gold fully upgraded as well as FTCU. Just purchased Total Filter. Watching your video, uh, learning a lot. Thanks. You're welcome, Jerry." New to FTCU, totally clueless on TQ. I'm staying with FTCU for now. I know I don't have any videos on the total filter thing. I just, I don't use it. <laughs> that's why That's why I don't have any videos on it. Um, uh, anyway, I have a problem. I want to know what I'm doing wrong. I want to make a dinosaur applique baby quilt, and I would like to use wordplay and a dinosaur footprint for one or two of the blocks, and it didn't work. Um, all right, so, um, well, I don't know what you did wrong, um, so I'll just show you the right way and hopefully you can do that and uh, it'll work so uh, let's see oh this is what I was doing before let's make a new page here uh, okay anyway uh, so I went ahead and downloaded a dinosaur footprint um, just so that it would be the same kind of thing you're doing uh, and you go to backdrop and select your image here we go dinosaur footprint hit open and then you want to trace this uh, with whatever method you feel like using. I'm going to use the magic wand. So we hit the magic wand and we left click somewhere on the inside of it and it traces it. Lovely. I'll hit my select tool here. Uh, and now once I've got this thing traced, I can select it and go to tools and save wordplay shape. So we're going to left click on save wordplay shape and we'll call it um, dino what I guess hit save alright uh, so now we can get rid of everything that's in here we don't need any of this so we'll delete this and we will um, hide the backdrop and then we're gonna hit the word play button which is this one we a jumble of blocks so left click on that and uh, if we go under shape we should see dino foot in here somewhere there we go dino foot there it is so we can tell it, you know, whether we want it to be an artwork outline, a run, or a steal. If it's an artwork outline, there will be no outline when you sew it out. If it's a run, it'll be a running stitch, or a steal will be a satin stitch. Um, you can set the width and the height. If you've got an alissimo, it needs to be, uh, what's an alissimo? Seven and three quarters by eleven and three quarters, I think. So this is pretty close to the limit. I don't like to push the limit too much, so we'll have the width be 7.5 so that we know for sure it'll fit. Uh, and um, ba ba ba, maintain aspect ratio, yes. So here, we're going to set our words. Um, dino. Separate your words with a comma, by the way. Um, sorry, I'm just moving my drink. Uh, Alright, Dino uh, uh, T-Rex uh, Stegosaurus. You know, I read somewhere that the Brontosaurus was uh, was fake, so I won't put the, I won't put Brontosaurus. Uh, we'll put uh, a Velociraptor. And um, uh, I don't know. Science. Uh. You know, whatever. You put in your words. And you pick your font. Uh, you know, we pick whatever font we want. Uh, crazed? Crackle. We'll do crackle. Um, Alright, so... Yeah. We'll just go ahead and generate that, see what it looks like. So you hit generate, and it generates your text paths, and puts them whatever directions it can. You know, we put it on any, they'll go in any direction. So that looks pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and accept that, hit OK. There is my design, and that's how you do it. Um, so, anyway, I hope this helps you, Jerry. Um, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.